Good afternoon ladies and gentlemen, your boy Virtus here and welcome back to my Unreal Engine 4 side scroller series. And in today's video we are going to be continuing to work on our fuel pickup and also on our health pickup. Now over the last few videos we've actually created the back end system for it, we've got the pickups working but they don't look that great. As of right now they are just two big white balls. Now, if we go into the game and we do look at these two big white balls, we can't really tell which one is which and what is going to do what. So what I want to do pretty much in today's video is get your pickups looking a bit more like these two little items that we've got here. So we've got this big red cross for the health pickup and we've also got this big blue diamond for the fuel pickup. Now what I've done for you guys is I've actually gone ahead and created a bunch of shapes inside of 3ds Max and turned them, turned them into an FBX file that you guys can go ahead and import into the engine to get the shapes that you guys need for the fuel pickup. Having said that, if you guys want to download these files, make sure you go ahead and download the latest version of the project files. Once again, download link is in the description below. That will take you to the website and you can download everything you need. The two new files that you need is fuelpickup.fbx and healthpickup.fbx. So what we need to do with these then is we need to go ahead and import these into the engine. So if you go into your starter content and then if you just go into your props folder, we are going to be importing them into there. Now just ignore the two, two shapes that I've got there already, but let's go ahead and, ju and jump in and get these in here. So just give me a second to delete the old stuff and let's get started. So first things first, we need to go ahead and import the files in. Press the little import button here, navigate to the files and just go ahead and control and click them both to select them both. So we've got fuelpickup.fpx and healthpickup.fpx. Go ahead and hit open. Once we've done that, we need to make sure skeletal mesh is unchecked, import materials, import textures are all unchecked. And then just go ahead and press import all. Once we do that, go ahead and close the message log and you can see we've got our two shapes at the bottom here. Firstly, if we go ahead and take a look at the fuel pickup, you can see we've got this cool looking diamond that we're gonna use for the fuel. And in the second one, we've got our health pickup we've got this cool looking 3D cross, which is looking quite nice. So let's go ahead and do a few things to this. First things first, we need to give this a little bit of color and a little bit of life. The way we're gonna be doing that is by using a material. At the moment, there's no material in the material slot and we haven't even got a material at all. So we've gotta go ahead and create one. So right click in your content browser and just go ahead and create a material. And we're gonna create one for the health pickup so we're just going to call this health pick and we're also going to create another material called fuel pick as well. Now let's go ahead and open up the health pickup first. Not the health pickup but the health material first. So double click that and open it up. Now we're just going to be working with a diffuse color for now. So we're not going to be adding in any roughness maps, normal maps or you know diffuse maps or anything like that. We're just going to work with solid colors. And the way we're going to do that is we're going to use a constant. So right click and create a constant free vector. Now we want to give this a little bit of glow. So I'm actually going to be hooking this up into emissive color. Drag it in and on the details panel over here you can actually play around with some of the RGB values. So as of right now, we're working with the health pickup and we want to give this a little bit of red. So to do that, just go ahead and increase the number of the red. So I'm going to go ahead and set this to 10. Give it a moment and you can see we've now got our big red ball. And that's the color of the pickup. But I want this to be a little bit softer and a little bit lighter. And the way we can get that full control is by clicking this little color here. And then we could go ahead and change this to give it a bit more, bit of pink into it or to make it a little bit lighter, do whatever you gotta do. And then just go ahead and press okay. Give it a second to load up. And once it's done, just go ahead and press save and apply it. And that looks good to me. So next thing, we need to go ahead and do the same thing for our fuel pickup now. So just give that a couple of seconds to save and do the same thing. So open up fuel pickup, add in a constant free vector and then just hook it up to emissive color. Once again, we are going to increase the blue value to sort of the right amount of glow that we want. So we're going to change this to 10, but it's still a little bit too dark. We want to make this a little bit lighter. So I'm just going to go ahead and move it over there just like that. And then I'm going to go ahead and press apply. That is looking good. That is exactly how I want it. Now we actually need to apply this to the shape. Go ahead and open up your fuel pickup and over in the material slots over here, just go ahead and create one. 
and then from there, from the drop down, just go ahead and tell this to apply it to uh, fuel. Type it in and it should come up in the list. And now you can see our diamond has got this nice looking blue glow to it and that is perfect. Next thing, go ahead and do the same thing for the health pickup. And then material slots, add it in and then health pickup. And there you are and now our cross is glowing a little bit. So go ahead and close that and let's try and drag this into the scene to see how they look. So we drag the cross into the scene, that is looking good. And also if we drag the diamond into the scene, whoops, if we go ahead and drag the diamond into the scene, that is also looking quite nice as well. So what we need to do now is actually link these into the blueprints. So I'm going to go ahead and delete these from the scene and we're actually going to open up the file that contains all the information for these blueprints. So open up your blueprints folder. For whatever reason I've got two of these, so you're just going to make sure you're looking in the right one. So blueprints and then open up your fuel pickup and give it a second to load up. And then once we've done that we can actually go ahead and just change out static mesh, it's quite simple. Give it a second, go into your viewport, select this little ball here, give it a second to auto save, and then under static mesh we need to change this now to fuel pickup. Give it a second and then you can see it's changed and that is looking good. Under the material we need to make sure we set this to fuel pickup and then we should have this faint little blue glow here. And you can see now that our fuel inside of the viewport has actually changed. Press play just to test that and there you are, that is looking good. If we go over the fuel pickup it, change, it gives us a bit of fuel and it looks quite nice. One last thing that I do want to do before I go any further is I actually want to add in a rotating movement to this to actually get it spinning to make it look a li little bit more dynamic and a little bit nicer. So just add the component, type in rotating movement and then just go ahead and do that. Now by default the rotation rate is just going to be set to 180 degrees. That is sort of like the direction it's moving in. If we press play you can see it starts to spin. Now I'm not going to worry too much about the speed of this. It looks pretty nice, nice for now. If you want to just increase that value and it will you know, speed it up a little bit. So next thing we need to go ahead and do the same thing for the health thing now. So go ahead and pick it, open it up. Go to sphere and then just change the static mesh to health pick up and then as for the material do the same thing so health pick up go into the viewport just test that make sure it's looking all good and you can also see it's flat on its face at the moment so just use the transformation tools to rotate this and just pick it up really and there you are compile it once again we're going to add in the rotating movement click it and this time we're actually going to slow it down a little bit and we're going to set the z-axis to 90 degrees press play and let's see how all of this looks so we've got our little fuel pickup that's looking good and we've also got our health pickups as well. This is looking really, really nice. Anyway, I think that is a really good place to end off the video guys. Once again, thanks for watching. I hope you guys are enjoying the series. Stay awesome, keep creating, your boy Bertus, signing out.